Hey guys, back again in this video we're going to go ahead and share with you how to build a website for your business and you can build as many of these websites as you want as long as you are an upgraded member. So if you go over here on the left hand side and you go to the drag and drop editor again, right here, just like you did on your capture page. If you haven't built a capture page yet, you might want to go watch that capture page tutorial and go build one before you start building out websites because it's always good to collect someone's information first before you send them to like your website, okay? Because a website doesn't really collect information, it just shares, it's like a sales page. So you'll click on again, you'll click on the hamburger up on the upper right hand corner, and you'll click on sales web page. Once you click on sales and web page builder, not capture page, but sales and web page builder, it'll take you to a page that looks just like this. And this tool is very helpful and it works really well if you do it right. And so I'm gonna share with you guys some things that, that are working really well. There are some glitches with the system, but I'm always working on uh, you know, the back office here to make it better. So if you guys do notice any issues back here, let me know, we will get those corrected. We will make this thing perfect. But first off on a website, you would want your navigation. So what I like to do is I'll pull down um, this top widget here, and then you can put a logo over here. You can change your links on the top of the page. You can say, hey, I don't want four links. I just want one, okay? So see that you got one link up there and then normally on a sales page or a, you know a welcome greeting page after someone fills out a capture page you would have a video so you can go ahead and pull down your video widget next which is what I would do and then you can replace this video with your own okay so the way you do that is it's simple you just click on the little pencil over here on the upper right hand corner and then it says go ahead and you can choose Vimeo you can do an embedded code or you can do a YouTube. Let's just keep it simple. We'll just do the YouTube one for now. And we'll go over here to YouTube. And why don't we just go ahead and grab the video, this Ferrari video here. Um, and I would always recommend that you put your own YouTube videos up on YouTube and put them on your website because if you use someone else's and they delete that video, guess what? Your website won't work anymore as far as the video goes because they've removed it, <laughs> okay? so. What you want to do is you just grab this uh, URL on the top of the video that you so choose. Okay, so you grab the link on the top with the watch, not the share one, but the watch one. It's got to have the watch in it. And you just go ahead and put it in this little form box here. Once you put it in that box, you can go ahead and say colored selection. What this colored selection means is it means that it's going to allow you to change the color behind the video, which is going to look really good on the website. So I'd recommend turning that on. You can also do with text if you choose with text. You can put text on the bottom of the video, or you can add text to the top of the video. But if you just say just video, it'll be just a video. So I'm gonna go ahead and click save. You guys will see now that the Ferrari is my video. Pretty cool, right? So this video will now play on a the website. A brand new Ferrari isn't. Now, if you guys wanna make this video autoplay, I'll give you guys, some of you guys already know this, but I'll just go ahead and give it to you here really quick. At the end of your link, a little a little HTML code training here for you guys to hear today on YouTube videos is you put question mark and then you put the and sign and put auto play equals one. Okay. By adding this question mark at, at auto play equals one to the end of any YouTube video, um, what that's going to do for you is it's actually going to um, make your video auto play at the end okay so I'm gonna go ahead and click Save Changes you guys will see that video just started automatically playing isn't cheap. see it just starts playing sometimes that's good on a thank you page because it gets people's attention when the video starts to autoplay okay now this Ferrari is a nice red so what I might do is I might select over here on the left hand side I'll go ahead and click on these gears here and I might go ahead and just say you know what I bet you um, black would look sweet you know, around that video since the Ferrari is red. See how nice that looks, guys? So I got like a black border, you know, red Ferrari. I don't think red would look that good on that page. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let's go switch it to red. So that was that's what red would look like behind the Ferrari. I think I'm going to go with the black. I'm going to go with the black background. That looks cool. But you know what I might do? I might take and put a logo up here on the top of the page. So I'll just go ahead and click on that. And then I'll just go ahead and select my um, my images. Let's see if I got any in here. I can upload my own images from my computer, pick an image off my computer and put it in here. Or I could just use the ones that are already in the library. But for training, let's just do this. Let's just use one that's already back here. 
And um, here, I'll just take Coca-Cola because it matches the Ferrari. <laughs> so I just threw a logo up here, guys. Not not my logo or anything. Actually, I gotta. I did it wrong. I actually have to click on the Coca-Cola. Select choose, and it should populate. There it is. Um, actually, that's red. That won't look that cool. Let's do. Let's do something else. Let's just put. Um, I'll put Amazon up there. You don't want to use these. These are just samples, guys. So you don't really want to use these ones. But look, then I'll just kind of maybe like make that red at the top. So that looks kind of cool, right? Red, and then it's got like this black border. My videos there, and then I can just click go over here, and I could just like type in whatever I want this to be in the top and then now that turns into a link a click clickable link you know to whatever I want it to go to I guess in a directly in like my Facebook group or something like that but I can change that on the top but typically on a thank you page what you want to do is you want people to take action so I like to use uh, under a video myself I like to use like an action uh, widget which is like this one right here. The way to put it under the video is not by going under the video with the widget, but putting it right on top. And it, what it does is it forces it underneath the next one. So anytime you grab a widget, don't go underneath the last widget, just put it on top of the last widget and it pushes it underneath. So we can change this button now too. Um, we could click on it and go to buttons that we have back here. So you can use buttons that we already have. Um, or what you can do is um, uh, get access now or whatever but what you could do is instead of using these buttons that we already have you can put your own in there now over here on the right hand side where the pencil is to this button you can actually choose where you want them to go you know once they um, you know click on that button down here so you choose the, the link to go to and uh, the colored selection again, if you select colored selection, it's gonna allow you to change the background behind the button. And then, so the, that's that. So this is coming together pretty nicely, all right, guys? And then also this page is um, fully um, responsive. So it doesn't matter what size your computer is or phone, this page is, is automatically um, building out for you, fully responsive page. Now, the other cool thing is with this tool is this button. What if you wanted to have like a step one, two, three down here? You just go to the pencil over here, right here, and you say, I want three buttons. Look, you can do three buttons now. Click save, and now I can put three buttons here. Um, I, can up, I can click on each one individually and make them all different. You know, I can upload different buttons from my computer. I really like this feature because I like to do one, two, threes. So I'll have like a video here of me talking. I'll say, step one, do this. Step two, do this. Step three, do this. Or you can give them options. Like a lot of these companies out there have options to be like a customer or distributor. You could have a video right here and be like, hey, step one, become a customer. Step two, become a distributor. It's just up to you guys however you want to do that. But I'm going to go ahead and go back down to one because I am not. I don't have any other buttons right now. So I'll just go ahead and move it back to, to a single button. Let's do that. And then what I'm going to do here now, so do that. Okay, so I'm back down to one button. Um, what I'm going to do now is kind of show you guys. I can just go over here and I can go ahead and choose my colors. See that? I can go ahead and do like a red background or whatever. And I'm not done yet because I can go down the line and I can say, hey, you know what? I got a team of people that I work with. So I'm going to go ahead and put that under the button. And then you can come to the pencil over here and you can say, ah, ah, there's only three of us. And I want it to be circled around our heads. And you click that, you click this. Boom. Now you got your three heads. And you can go ahead and put your name here. You know, you can put your title. You know, whatever it is you are. You know. You know, whatever your title is, you click on the picture, you can just upload a picture of yourself from your computer, and then it will put your head in there or whoever else's you know pay you know head that you wanna you wanna go ahead and put on there. So I just accidentally kicked myself out of the system because I clicked the back arrow instead of going forward. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into the system. And I'll go ahead and just put everything in the way that I had it earlier really quick. So guys, bear with me. But you know what? This is easy to do. So I, I guess I can just throw this page together back to where we were pretty quick in seconds. Um, it just takes me a little bit longer to build these pages when I'm doing a training tutorial. Definitely a lot easier to do if it was just me, you know, in here um, on my own building. It's actually quite, quite easy to use. So as you guys can see, I've almost got the page 100% back to what we were at before I accidentally clicked the wrong button. So I had like right here, what did I have? I had um, my, my logo that I had. I just took a generic one. I put that one in there. And then, uh, then right here I went ahead and on this video, I think I clicked Something on this happening. here and I grabbed the URL. Acceptance. From, from everyday uh, transcendence that remedies the chaos, an antidote to the sorrow on this earth put for this in here. Music heard so deeply that it is not heard at all. There we go. The music. There, we go. The music there we go. So there we go. Now I got that, and then I think I had this. What did I have? This guys. I had that black, and then I had this red, and then I had this over here. I think I said I only wanted one, one link right there. Right. That's all I wanted. So one link there, Amazon, and then I went down here, and then I think I had this red right here. And then I got these guys down here, and I think I just wanna like change it to back to black. Cause I'm trying to do this like black and red theme thing to make the page look really cool. And then I've got all these other image, you know, I got like the image slider, you put it over the top of the image, and then it puts it down below. But look at this guys, I could put like different banners here. How cool is that? So if I click on the banner itself, I could just go to like uh, my images. I don't think I have any, I have not uploaded any of this, this one yet. But let's just try this. Let's just try to do like, um, what happens if I put the birthday candle thing in there? That's huge. <laughs> I need to get a, sh a, a, sh a, sh a smaller image in there. Um, but that would be image one, and then it kind of flickers through, and then I just click on this, and then I could put another, um, image in there. I just don't want to try to make this quick for you guys. I don't want to spend a whole bunch of time uploading images. But when you guys have a little bit more time, you know, you guys can get in here and play around and add your different uh, images that you choose. So I think you guys understand what this does. It's just an image slider. You should get banner sized images to put in this field. I'm on my laptop without all my pictures. So if I was on my desktop, I could throw that in there, but we'll just keep that. Anyways, you guys see that that's a, a slider. Play around, we use, also have this HTML one. So like if you get some really cool code off the internet, you can pull this one down. And then what you can do is on the left or the right hand side, you can click on this and you can put any HTML code in here. And you can add like a countdown clock or any other really cool widgets that you want to add to your website. So yeah, oh, this is a really cool one. I got to show you guys this one. Let's say you wanted to add like, pricing to your site okay you're trying to sell some look at this this product you give it a name for that product this product's 10 bucks this product's 100 bucks this product's thousand bucks and this you know you can actually say what they're getting for what they're paying you can change all the text here you maybe take the colors here and just kind of do this kind of thing it just just makes it look pretty cool see that you can just kind of go through Hey, for ten dollars you get this, hundred dollars you get this, thousand you get this, ten thousand you get this. Write everything that they get, and everything here. I mean, you can just play around with all these colors and just maybe make them the same as what you had on the top up there. I can't remember what colors we had, but I'm just flowing through this really quick, guys. But anyways, you can kind of do something like that so they all match up nicely. Uh, what else do we got here? Uh, cool banners. I mean, you can throw an awesome banner at the top of the page. You know. You want to throw one of those in, you just kind of go like this. And now we got a nice banner section we can do with some text over the top of it. So you can go ahead and upload a banner um, of your choice. So really that's how you build a page, you guys, and it's fully responsive. Um, the way you save it, you just click on Save Publish, and you can just call this, we'll just call this a test page one. Um, just page one test. Okay. 
So once we save this, just like the capture page, when you save it, it doesn't actually put it on the internet, but it's back stored in your editor so you can edit it later. Um, but if you want to go ahead and publish it, you can go ahead and click on publish, publish, and uh, let's just call this a test sales page. We're gonna. This is the file, guys. So we don't want to click, and this is the first time we've done it, so we don't do the yes, we just do the no, because we're not overriding anything. This file doesn't exist until right now. It's a sales page, so it doesn't really need to be uh, redirecting anyone anywhere because it's not a capture page, so you keep this blank on a sales page. So don't don't ever fill this out for a, um, a sales page. Just keep it blank when you're building websites. Always keep blank, okay? And then click on Publish, and once you do that, you have a nice sales page that you can use. Typically, typically I like to have a nice capture page that you know gets their name, email, phone number, and on the sales page that we just created, I always like to say, hey, you made it. Thanks for filling out the capture page on the last page, and you thank them. You thank the person for filling out the form on the last page. So that's really what you should be doing on a two-page website, capture page with sales page. And uh, maybe we'll have like a webinar here in the future, and I'll email all of you guys, and you guys can attend that webinar and I'll just kind of give you guys some really good ideas, uh, more specific to your business that you're doing, and uh, can help you guys out on building those pages. You guys can also reach out to me on Facebook, Tyson Curtis, and uh, I'll help you guys out as well with building custom stuff for your business, real estate insurance, you know, whatever business you guys have, I, I want to help you guys. So we could view the page by clicking right here, but what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and exit out, click on the editor on the upper left-hand corner, and I'll just go back over here to the main page, and on the left-hand side over here, I'll go ahead and click on um, my sales pages now. And when I click on my sales pages, you'll see that it's under the landing page category, the page that we just built. So this page has now been built, and you know, this is the page that we just built, guys. Okay, pretty cool, right? This is live on the internet. But what you'll do is, now you want to connect this to your capture page. So what you'll do is you'll go to the top of the page and you'll grab the URL, which is the website link, okay? And then what you'll do is, let's say that you want to connect this to that birthday party one that we did before, right? Or whatever page that you want to set it to. You just go up here to your capture pages, right here. And what you do is you go to your capture page that you built or any of these capture pages and you say, oh, there's the birthday party one. So I want to click on edit. And then what you'll do is you'll go to the basic settings, same place where you select your contact group, you know, where the leads go, we'll leave that the same. But look, we'll, instead of going and send them to Facebook, we'll just put the URL to that sales page we just built. You know, we'll take, we'll take that web page, that page and put it right here. So now when the person fills out the form, they're going to be taken directly over to um, that page. Okay, so let's go ahead and click Save. And let's just go ahead and test out the flow here really quick, you guys. So let's say that we go over to our capture pages, okay? And let's just say that we go to our birthday capture page that we, we built earlier. And let's say someone fills out this form, all right? This is our capture page that we... A brand capture... new Ferrari isn't cheap. This, for example, is a brand new 2017 Ferrari 488 Spider. Let me refresh my page here. Sorry about that. Computer's acting a little slow here. A brand new Ferrari isn't cheap. So this, for example, is a brand new 2017 Ferrari 488 Spider, and it costs around $350,000. I borrowed it from a viewer here in New Jersey so that I can show you exactly why it's worth it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill out this form. Once you fill out this form, we'll start submit. back here in the most obvious place. The 488 has a turbocharged V8 that makes six. It's gonna redirect us to our sales page because we've connected them. See that? So it took us straight over to our sales page. Then they're saying like, "Thank you," whatever. And then they click the call to action, and then when they click the call to action, it takes them to wherever that you chose. And I think the second go around, we forgot to add a link here. So, but yeah, so that's pretty much how you connect them. Now, if I go back to my leads, you guys will see that there's now another lead inside my um, birthday one. Here it is. That's the one we do. Thomas here. So what I would do is I'd call this lead up, and I would say. Hey, Tom, and I'd actually get my notes section open right here. I'd get my notes out. 
and I'd say, hey, Tom, how you doing? I'm calling you because you filled out a form on the page for the birthday party, you know, what, or we'll launch or whatever it is you have going on. And I'd say, hey, how did you like the video on the second page? And then that prospect would say, oh, it was a great video. So see, see what I'm saying here, guys? We've got their information. Now they're on the second sales page and they've watched your presentation for whatever it is you're selling. So when you're doing your follow-up, you're like, hey, I saw you fill out the capture page. That was me. <laughs> cool. Um, oh, and I saw you saw the sales page You know, after you fill out your information. That was me too. How'd you like that? So you just have a completely different conversation with your prospects because they actually watched not just your capture page video, but they watched your sales page video. So I think that's a wrap. That's how you build a website. You can build as many of those as you want. You guys can build as many capture pages as you want.